Hey guys, how's it going? Hold on, I just remembered that there was something I wanted to mention. Uh, ah! Thought I was spilling. Hold on a moment. I tweeted out earlier this week, Dear Dirk Bentley, or however you say your first name, I appreciate that you exist. Dear God in heaven. Break me off a piece of that is all I have to say. Uh, I'm sorry. <gasps> Look, my stretchy thing matches my outfit. Pretty sure that Dears is gonna call me tomorrow. So I wanted to, before I forget, whoa, what just happened there? Um, I wanted to mention this because first oh it was over at David Jen's this is a new client of Fitfluential essentially coconut who knew there was coconut butter did I mention this in one of my other videos I don't remember um, I didn't and here's the thing at first I was like first of all I'm in love with everything coconut but coconut butter let me just tell you something <sighs> when you open this up this smell amazing they have coconut sweet almond coconut butter Coconut honey pecan coconut butter. Did you say pecan or pecan? Original coconut butter and creamy cashew. Am I talking about Dierks or am I talking about coconut butter? Or both of them together? I don't know. <laughs> Inappropriate. Okay. So, guys, let's see. Uh, I actually gave myself notes so I remember. What did I talk about in my last videos? Are you liking the. Um, Teased it with that brush I told you about. Although, I'm getting my hair done in a week or so. I'm just gonna see it getting lighter and lighter. You guys have to let me know if you like it. Anyway, focus, Kelly, because we're doing under 10 minutes today. So, I told you guys in my first video, being home from Phoenix, um, my Whitney's wish list of stuff that I came home and, golly. I need to stop looking at this. Um, Whitney's wish list, and then the next one, I kind of told you guys about the background. Why did I go out there? Just a brief overview, because it's it's really quite extensive. Um, the stuff that happened to me, the symptoms that I had, and how long I had them, and all of that, but um, I'm gonna be detailing this in, in chapters on my blog, kellyalexa.com. Um, but today, what I wanted to talk about was take a little segue and tell you guys I'm sorry <laughs> he just had his shirt off sorry um, <laughs> now he has it back on and it still looks good and he's blonde I do not like blondes I'm not quite sure what's going on there um, I just really like this song too I just got really into like country music again but you know what other song while well, I played this in the last video hold on this um, there's some stupid movie. You are not. Blah, blah, blah. It's some Pampers commercial. Um, so what I wanted to tell you was a lot of the stuff that um, Whitney, we did some training together and she was coaching me on a lot of, um, you know, she did some coaching with me on my form. And it was really interesting because here, I, I guess what I'm sharing with you, here's that song, are my takeaways. Not only do I have more better music, does that even make sense? More better music, that's not what I meant to say. More music to better music to add to my playlist. Um, number one, I referenced this in my first video. So a big part, my, one of my big takeaways from the week out there is how important for me, and I think so many of us, as much as I've incorporated stretching, you guys, um, and foam rolling to some degree, not enough. Because I can, I can feel it when I stand. Um, I, I definitely feel it in my sleep sometimes when I go to like maybe move around. I'll get almost like a, is it a charley horse when your uh, calves bunch up and, and you're just in massive pain? My, I'm not doing enough. I'm still not doing enough stretching before and after. And 
there's still, I think, a part of me in my brain that it hasn't quite sunk in, that this is not just to feel fine and stretch out. It, it's part of conditioning your body so that you can perform the way that you want to. I mean, it's not just like a feel good kind of a thing. And I, I think myself and a lot of people have that mistaken attitude about stretching and, and or will avoid doing things like this and the trigger point therapy and the foam rolling because it doesn't feel good. It's like when I, when I shared with you how Steve worked on me and he worked on my back, let me just tell you guys, that was some of the most pain I've experienced ever. I was saying words and thinking thoughts. I wanted to just run him over with the car. I did tell him that, and then I apologized. But you, you, you have to have all of, everything in our bodies is connected. You know, I learned that with my back. My back was not that I had somebody hit me on my lower back where it hurt. You know, your back pain is um, linked to the way you sit, the way you stand. And you'll probably still catch me, you know, maybe in the beginning of this video I did it. But you know, there still is sometimes a tendency to, to slouch or stand like this. Instead of standing like this, I'm much better at it because it actually feels better for me to stand like this. Now that I have that swapper chair in my office, I sit up more straight. Whitney was teaching me about how I should always be, you know, kind of sucking in that lower stomach. That helps with core strength. Obviously, it's going to help you stand up straighter. It's going to help you breathe better. Um, but doing this stuff, the stuff that many of us, we just want to dive into our workout. We don't want to take 10 minutes and stretch and foam roll. Um, and sometimes it, it's uncomfortable. So then we'll just brush over it. And we're like, I'm oh, fine. You know, my back feels fine. I don't need to. It's That's not how it works. And when I got out to Whitney's gym and she was like, well, let me see you do squats. I'm like, I got squats all day, girl. And she's like watching me do walking lunges one day. Um, she told me that I was, you know, you know how you're supposed to be perpendicular uh, with a lunge? You put your foot down and you push off with your, um, with your heel. Well, guess what? I was leaning my knee forward. And here I thought, I'm really good about form. I'm really paying attention. But I wasn't. She's like, you got to look in the mirror. And of course me, I'm like, I don't want to look in the mirror right now. I feel fat. And she's like, you've got to learn to, you know, get over that. And during this time, you've got to be looking in the mirror. You've got to be checking your form and you've really got to focus. And she said, when I have you doing walking lunges, I want you working on your glutes. I don't want you working on quads. You've got your quads developed already. We've got to focus on, you know, and you've got glutes, but that's, you know, we're working on building uh, muscle there and so on and so forth. And I have specific goals for my physique and for what I want to do so that as my hormonal balance stuff fixes itself and as my insulin starts to work like a normal human being again and I lean out, everything underneath is developing the way I want. And the way that Whitney explained it to me, it was so brilliant. She's like, Here's the deal, if you didn't focus on foam rolling and stretching your calves, excuse me, I just realized I didn't finish this, this thought. When she did the analysis of my squats, she showed me that, she goes, your calves are so tight, you can't go down lower. I'm like, wait, I got down pretty low. She goes, yeah, but when you get down to a certain point, then, I don't know if I can show you this from the side, instead of being up like this, I was leaning way over like way over there was a certain point where all of a sudden and, and I'm like that's because of my calves and she's like yeah you know your calves are tightening up and so then you're you're bending over to balance that up she goes you shouldn't be you know leaning like that in a squat I certainly didn't think I was sorry about the blurring but the reason I didn't think I was is I don't go and I check myself in the mirror when I'm in the gym because I'm insecure and all of this stuff she goes, if you are not focusing on making sure your muscles and your, you know, your um, the fascia, the muscles, your tissues, all of this stuff that you loosen up um, so that your, your body and your muscles and everything that I'm just saying is in, in better conditioning so you can perform better, that prevents injury. It helps you perform the, the moves better so that you're working the muscles that you want. She goes, that's the difference between you just losing weight and being skinny fat and you losing weight 
and developing lean muscle and having your body look and feel and function the way you want. She goes, that's why that's important. That's why you spend 10 minutes now before your workout doing this stuff, making sure not just so your calves feel good, but so they are loosened up so that you can do your squats better. So you, and all of a sudden, hearing all that, it just made complete sense to me. And that's why when you have a good person like that, whether it's, you know, for me, a Dr. Riska, a, a Whitney as my trainer, um, you know, if you have a, a doctor that's working with you on this or that, a nutritionist, a dietitian, that's where they help you because if we make assumptions on our own, we're never going to get there. And somebody explaining contextually why this stuff is important makes all the difference in the world. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys too because I know a ton of us uh, are doing the same thing. I certainly would love to hear from you guys if you're, um, if you've been somebody that's been neglecting, you know, stretching and and preventative measures as well. Talk about more of this.